This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Investigate and modify. Ooh, okay, let's well hey, I see code here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna click run. Does it do something? What's it do? What's it do, computer? Ooh, it did something. Okay. So eight, eight point all right, high five, version two. Interesting. And if we look up here, guys, let me see here. Eight. Oh, okay. So well, where would this eight be coming from? Hmm. Well, I bet three plus five, eight, maybe. Okay, let's go down the line. System out print ln. 3 plus 5.0, well, that would also be 8, but so is this. So how? Oh, you see the difference? This will equal 8, but this will also. But I bet, boom. Okay, and then sure, I guess that could be 8.0. 5, ooh, this is string concatenation. So since this is, and those are some fancy scary words, but since this is in quotes, what I'm thinking is it just slaps the 5 on the end. It can't do math. Let's see what it's actually saying, though. All right. Run the program and serve the results with a plus with different data types. Yep. And we can see that, right? When it's text, when it's a string, it just pushes it onto the end like this, as opposed to when it's just numeric or numbers, it adds it. When it's a float or a double, it leaves the decimal. Interesting. Change one line at a time, then run the program to observe the result. Experiment with the negative op or minus operator and observe the result. Oh, okay, one line at a time. So this is kind of fun because I'm just literally going to do one thing. It's so much easier to find and detect and understand changes in programs when you only make a tiny change and hit run. I run stuff constantly because I make errors all the time. So much easier to find them. Okay, so that flipped from a 5 or from a 8, right, to a negative 2, which would make sense. 3 minus 5 negative okay that would be make sense now let's do three minus 5.0 oh negative okay will it look the same here yep okay that's kind of cool now what's gonna happen here what do you think will happen if you have a string a word and you put a minus in front of it what could that do it's not gonna be god the computer has no idea what i want right so a plus sign, this will lead to string concatenation. What I'm saying there is the computer sees this plus and says, ah, you want me to smack this five onto the end of this word. However, right, it will join them that way. It concatenates. A negative has a numerical symbol, right? It's a, it has a numerical uh, definition. It can be applied in mathematics. It doesn't have a programmatic one in this instance. So it's not going to, it's not directing the computer specifically to do anything with this five. The computer says, this is a string. It's the word high. And this is a minus sign. I don't know what to do. And it yells at me over it. So when you use that on any of these strings, it's going to be grumpy pants. Boom right? Still doesn't know what to do. Two strings, but it can smush two strings together. All right, let's try the multiplication sign or that asterisk. Ah, let's throw this in a few spots. Uh-huh. So 15, 15. Yep, that's all working. Now, what do we think it's going to do with strings? Uh, I hope you said it's not going to work, right? Because an addition sign, again, it will work with the string because the computer's just going to try to mush them together. But a multiplication sign, not so much. So in programming, the addition sign will add numbers together, like here. It will add these together. However, if a string is there, it's going to concatenate, which means it will combine the string with the number. That is if the string is first. It's going to change up behaviors if the number is up here or something like this. It gets complicated quick, but really, we just want to mess around with this right now to kind of get a grasp. It is a bit confusing, especially since things like the multiplication operator, the division operator, don't always have the same utility that the addition sign does, right? So this is not going to be a happy camper if I try to divide the word high by five or version by five. Yeah, definitely not. So test the following expressions in the empty print statement on line 12. Test the following. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of copy. Right. Oh, let me reset these because this is going to freak out on us. Okay, now let's try them. And there it is. So that did 17. Yep. 
Let's see what this one does. Ooh, high 23 because the string comes first. Now, what do you think about this? There's two numbers and then a string. This one might trick you up. Trip you up, trick you up. Ah. Bam, two night. Now what happens here? The computer sees the numbers first. So computers are dumb, they run code in order. The order they're reading is left to right in a way. And so they see one, they go, okay, this is a mathematical operation. One plus one is shockingly two, okay? So now I have the number two plus, and then it sees a string and it goes, what? And it just wants to try to make it work. So it's not gonna throw an error because it doesn't have to. Programming, you can use a plus to combine a string and a number. So now the number is two because it got to these numbers first, but now it slaps night onto the number two. Tonight. Okay, let's try next. Oh, this is just math. I hope you got this. It is 35 because seven, right? Five plus two is seven, seven times five. Yep. Ooh, this is a modulus operator, modulo operator. And what this does, this is gonna look complicated. Ooh. Oh, infinity. Oh, because what we're asking here is seven modulus two or modulo two. So the remainder of seven over two, how many times does seven go into two? This might be above, but it's three, three minus one. So this would equate, evaluate to zero. 10 over zero, you can't divide by a negative. So it throws that weird number. And if you're confused, that is fine. We're going to get more into this as we go. But the we just get to... You want to sink your teeth into some of this. Play around with it. It's kind of fun. Negative 4 because negative... Yeah, because 4.0 minus minus 4. So this would be plus 4. So that'd be 0. Yep. I love math. I'm not even being ironic. 16. 4. Times 4. Yep. Done. Modular operator. So how many times does 3 go into 15? That would be 0. Right? 3 goes into 15 5 times. The remainder, what this means is remainder. Well, 3 times 5 is 15, so the remainder is 0 minus, this should be negative 4. Remainder 0, so 0 minus 4, negative 4. And then what's this one going to do? So you can multiply 5 and 2, and that would be 10, minus 6 is going to be 4, ever. And then we'll slap that ever. Ha! Play around with these, make your own you really want to sink your ticket into some of this. And then, onward.